Good morning. I want to thank the World Academy for Arts and Science and the University for putting on this tremendous conference and for inviting Partnership for Change and Ingrid and I to be here. Uh, my name is Orlin Kringstead. I'm the Vice President of Global Development for Partnership for Change and the Executive Director for Partnership for Change USA. Uh, Ingrid Stang asked me to convey her regrets for not being here uh, this morning. Um, that decision was made just last evening. Uh, she asked me to let you know that I'm standing in for her, and she actually said, um, let them know that uh, I am not her. So I'm going to state the obvious. I'm not Ingrid Stang. I don't look like Ingrid Stang, and that's a good thing. Uh, and I'm sure that Ingrid is pleased with that as well. However, uh, Ingrid and I work very closely together. Uh, she in the Oslo-Norway office and me in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, running the Partnership for Change USA office. So last night we discussed, uh, do I give my speech or do I give her speech? Uh, Ingrid being the alpha of our team, won. So I'm giving her speech with some edification by me. Uh, there's an old Norwegian saying, don't wake the sleeping bear. Uh, I'm sure that many cultures have the same saying. We joke oftentimes that in Partnership for Change, that's exactly what we need to do. However, I'm not going to do so in this case. Partnership for Change envisions a world in which we can all live in harmony um, and within the limits of the planet. We know the outcome of the present path of humanity's journey. We know the urgency to change the path. We know that there are still solutions. Now is the time to act together. This is our future. We call it turning the tide, and we want to share it with you. And this is what is required. We need political leaders who dare to make bold policy changes to enforce as well as incentivize sustainable solutions locally and globally. We need business leaders and entrepreneurs who, turn, uh, who will turn the time, climate challenges into business opportunities. We need community leaders and business leaders to, who will focus on building resilient communities. And we need all sectors managing to build effective partnerships to create practical solutions. Partnership for Change is a partnership organization. So how can we reach our vision and ensure political or practical action? We believe strongly that necessary action will not be taken by any sector alone, nor do we believe that the leaders of nation states will be able to make the changes. We believe that local government, women, and youth are the keys to resolving the most pressing issues. To reach our future vision, Partnership for Change focuses on a number of actions. We provide arenas for inspiration and knowledge sharing, engaging leaders and individuals from all sectors of society, including the uh, part Partnership for Change annual conferences, uh, and including, included there is our signature conference next year, next October, called Minnesota 2015, Democracy for a Sustainable Future. We support and nudge youth organizations and associations to take active roles. We provide tools and solutions for how low threshold engagement worldwide can help engage. We engage local political and business leaders through our programs. We empower women to become fully integrated and take active part in society in all parts of the world. We empower youth to become active change makers. We believe that disruptive innovation to channel the energy of youth toward positive change is important. We call it a battle for humanity. Together with our partners and through our pilot programs, we intend to build practical solutions with critical resilience issues. Ensuring access to adequate health for all, develop web-based health services, develop innovative solutions to train nurses and doctors, provide basic education for all, including building a customized hub and spoke educational program uh, for teacher training. Use state-of-the-art technology to enable individualized programs and provide meaningful life for youth, avoiding the idleness leading to extremism and violence. In, in that regard, we focus on education for employment, culture and arts programs, and sports. We believe that we are already in the midst of shifting paradigms in every part of society. 
from the broad climate change issues and threats of terrorism in all corners of the world to the way individuals and families live their lives. And we're all linked closely together. Incremental change is no longer sufficient. Required now is disruptive thinking to find entirely new solutions and global partnerships to bring these to reality and action. We need to analyze and act on solutions across all sectors, religions, generations, and regions. The seven billion individuals on this planet are part of a whole, and action taken in one part of the world influences individuals all over the world. The Ebola epidemic is a recent proof of this. While intergovernmental collaborations have so far failed to reach consensus on action to save our planet, individuals and groups all over the world now gather together demanding responsible action from decision makers. We have found this to be true in the many conferences that we have held over the last four years. Minnesota 2015, Democracy for a Sustainable Future is PFC's signature conference to be held in Minneapolis next year. It's one of the arenas to express the global demand as well as providing a launching pad for positive action. The Turning the Tide process began in May 2014 at the Partnership for Change Oslo Conference uh, in, in May last year, showcasing examples of individual actions and organizations promoting change and covering the areas we see as fundamental for a sustainable society. These issues will be further developed by a set of sustainability issue groups based on both the World Business Council for Sustainable Development's Vision 2050 and the UN SDGs to be released in September next year. The Minnesota 2015 partners will take on a leading role in developing these issue groups. During 2014 and 15, numerous milestones, workshops, and summits uh, are and will take place around the world, identifying and discussing policies, tools, and solutions uh, culminating in the October 2015 conference. Minnesota 2015 will represent a call to action where local groups will be challenged to identify and act on necessary change to be part of the UN SDG solutions. Partnership for Change has uh, defined nine critical issue areas that will be uh, addressed during uh, Minnesota 2015 next year. These issues based on somewhat on the SDGs uh, need immediate action. The Partnership for Change teams will identify practical solutions that already exist or need to be developed. These include turning climate change challenges into opportunities, saving the environmental resources for future generations, building resilient communities, empowering youth to become active change makers, empowering women to become fully integrated and take an active part in society in all parts of the world, developing shared societies in partnership with Club de Madrid, ensuring access to adequate health care for all, providing basic education for all and ensuring relevance for employment, and building effective partnerships between sectors to create practical results. During the fourth, uh, fourth quarter 2014, that means now, Partnership for Change is recruiting leaders from academia and experts from the NGO community to develop the teams as well as plan for the issues that will be presented in next year's uh, October conference. Parallel to the Partnership for Change-led process, Club de Madrid is in the midst of their program to determine democracy's role in securing a sustainable future. Next Generation Democracy, as it's called, is an analysis of trends in democracy over a 30-year span, 2000 to 2030. The first 15 years, we'll be looking at the trends uh, of the first 15 years of this century. Uh, the second 15 years will be to look at how those trends will affect us in the future. The Minnesota 2015 issue teams will closely follow Club de Madrid's regional Next Generation Democracy trend analyses and will develop approaches and recommend tools to address the global trend challenges identified by Club de Madrid. Many of these approaches and tools will already be available and in use in different parts of the world. Partnership for Change will ensure that the, their network of partnerships around the world will collaborate in the efforts of the local teams. The findings and conclusions of 
the Minnesota 2015 issue teams will be cross-referenced with the findings and conclusions of the Club of Madrid Next Generation Pro Democracy Process, and together will form the Minnesota Compact of Tools, Templates, and Solutions in a global call to action next October. During 2015, the work of the issue teams will be presented and discussed in a series of workshops and summits globally. Next year will be the year, a year of great significance in how we will influence the future health of our planet. 2015 is the year we measure the Millennium Goals. The United Nations Sustainable Goals will be launched and we mark the Beijing Plus 20 and the Paris Climate Summit will be the proof of whether or not there is political will and courage to take the necessary steps to save our planet. Challenges abound as we enter the next phase of the new millennium. The new faces of terrorism and threats of Ebola pandemic uh, add to the already well-known threats to stability and equality and sustainability. As many of you know, 2015 is also the year that uh, the Magna Carta celebrates its 800th anniversary. We probably need a new charter for humanity. Maybe that will be the new paradigm for sustainable human development nothing less. The tools and solutions that will be presented uh, in Minnesota 2015 next year will be brought out to each corner of the world, not only through the mayors who take part, we're partnering with the Mayors for Peace, 6,500 or so um, member cities from around the world. Already now, young change makers are creating a social media process called the Impact Journey. The impact journey will run alongside the issues teams and the NGD process and fill in with added information and inspiration. It will also be a crucial element in the actions to take place during and following our Minnesota 2015 conference. This is our future. We humbly invite all of the participants here and your organizations to take part in our journey. Thank you very much.